Welcome to my layout for the month of June. It's a challenge for this one is a six by four photo, just one single photo. Now, when you smash book, that's actually a lot harder than it sounds because the whole point in them is to be able to put as much memorabilia in as you can, for me anyway, because it's something fun to look back on. So I chose one photo um, of my little godchildren of the birthday party that they had last year, and I took a leaflet from the party organisers because it was this really amazing dinosaur um, where like a man was inside this huge dinosaur it was brilliant it was quite scary as well so I made the leaflet the main background of the layout the first page in the smash book actually has a little dinosaur in the corner so I tried my hardest to try and keep that visible but it was a bit awkward trying to fit everything onto one page so Apologies for the glare from my light as well. I don't know why it was so bad this time round. But as you can see, I'm sticking my photo down. I've stuck the leaflet in already. Um, what I did keep was the leaflet and a cupcake topper, which is that little red dinosaur on the cocktail stick you can see there. So I stole that out of one of the cupcakes. And then I just basically went through all of my embellishments and found as much as I could that would kind of fit this theme. So like I've got a little globe which kind of fits for a geo like National Geographic type thing. Um, I had trouble with this uh, like wood chip um, balloon. It's got like cut out bits and I could not get them out. They obviously didn't come out when it was cut, when it was manufactured. So I was trying my hardest to get them out of my scissors. Nearly stabbed myself so many times. So in the end I just gave up and tried to cut it off. Um, the little scissors just weren't cutting it and brought out the big scissors, chopped it off which meant it fit, uh, fit, it fit much better um, and I just stuck it in to be honest I, pro I don't know what I would have used that for otherwise so it fit quite well in the theme for a birthday party um, I used the Amy Tan in, like puffy ephemera it's kind of like inflated so I do go on later on to like stab it with my scissors to try and stop it from being so puffy. I'm just sticking on numbers here. Um, it was the twins' birthday party and then their little sisters in the middle, so I just stuck one, two, three underneath them. Um, I'm just trying to use up as many half-used sticker sheets that I can at the moment because I've got so many like this that only have a couple of stickers on. Just trying to be ruthless and stick as many embellishments as I can on my layouts. Used a little bit of washi tape just to kind of help stick that photo down a bit. And also so I could poke the cupcake topper on. As you can see here, I'm stabbing it with scissors just to help deflate it a bit. Because one thing with smash books is they do get very, very fat and they're hard to close. So I've used my tape runner and just stuck some tape onto the back of it stuck him under there and then got my cupcake topper um, I used a little trick that I saw on one of Chamel's videos and that was using an acrylic block to stick all of your stickers on um, it really does help to kind of gather your um, gather your what is the word I'm looking for your um, stickers and not tools kit yeah kind of like putting a kit together so you're basically like gathering all of your essentials sticking them on so you're committing to using these items and I find when since doing that I actually do use a lot more of my stash I had to use that party emoji sticker as well absolutely love them didn't really think it would work for this layout, but I made it work. Because, I mean, who doesn't love a great big emoji party sticker? See? Straight in the middle. So, as you can see, I used I probably used more stickers on this layout than I would normally, but that's all because I took them out and I'd committed. They were on my block, and I was using them. Just going in with a bit more washi tape, just to give it a bit more pizzazz. Just 
struggling with it, as you can see. I'm noticing now, watching this back, at the tan line I've got on my left wrist from stupidly wearing my watch out when we went down to the beach at the weekend. So I'm going to have to try and get rid of that over the summer. Although I suppose I could tell people I went on a really cool, all-inclusive holiday and I had a wristband on. But the irony is, I was wearing a £5 watch from Avon. As you can see now, I'm just making my title, so I just went with something simple, just saying we are five, um, because there's not much space, and I didn't want to stick anything over the top of the photos, because I've already stuck a lot of stickers on them. With my Smashbook, I always journal. It doesn't matter where I journal, or if there's hardly any space, I'll fit it in anywhere, just because I like my Smashbooks to be full completely full on like you open them up and you've got loads of memorabilia loads of photos journaling so that in 20 years time or whatever they're fun for me to look back on and it's something it's like a legacy it's something I can pass on I mean I already love looking through my grandparents photos and things like that now I put the date on the bottom it was May last year And that's it done. So I believe I'm done now. But basically, yeah, that's it. It was a really quick layout. It literally took me about 10 minutes to complete it, which is perfect. So thank you for watching. So go and check out the social media links below and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you.